Hello guys, welcome to Hard Door Web Pen Testing 101. As you can see, I have a OWASP Juice Shop version installed on my Heroku server. Now in this lab, we are going to understand a simple authentication bypass using SQL injection. Now to understand this vulnerability, we need a place where we can provide our username and password for the authentication purpose. For this, I'm going to go to this login link. Now, if you look at this login screen, it is asking us for an email and a password. So for the email, I'm going to enter a random email. Obviously, I don't have the current credentials. Hackdoor at the rate gmail.com. And I'm going to enter a random string such as, let's say, Hackdoor is awesome as the password. Now, I'm going to log in. Okay. As expected, it says invalid email or password. So obviously, uh, the username and password combination that is being given to the backend database server is not validated. Now, to break from this SQL query that is validating your username and password on the backend server, you need something called a string locator. Now, a single apostrophe is a string locator. String locators are something that can help you to force an SQL error out of the SQL query. Let's enter any random string as a password and let's see what happens. Awesome. If you look closely, we have a SQLite database error, which basically says that the select statement from the table users where the email was single apostrophe if you can see here, there are three single apostrophes. Uh, one is a double one and the other one is a single apostrophe that we pass as a username and password, which is basically a hash or a randomly generated string uh, is not correct. Okay, and we have an SQLite error here. Now, to break out of this query, what we have to do is we have to provide our SQL query, a small SQL trick within this parameter email here where we enter the single apostrophe. The single apostrophe will break the original query and the SQL trick that we play inside this parameter email will be executed. But in order for that trick to execute, we also have to make sure the rest of the query is not executed. For that, we'll comment out the rest of the query. Let me make this more clear to you with a practical example. So a single apostrophe or 1 is equal to 1 and 2 dashes. Now, if you look at this, this is our string locator here. Here is our universal true condition. So what we are saying is either the username is blank or probably I can type in as hackdoor or any random string for that matter. Let me leave it blank for now. Either that should be accepted or 1 is equal to 1. Now mathematically, one is always equal to one. And this is where our query ends. But what about the rest of the query that we had? For that, I'm adding two dashes or two hyphens. This will comment out the rest of the query. And here I can enter any random string. I'm entering handle as of now. And let's see what happens when I click on login. Well, this is so cool, right? We have a logout button now. We have our own basket, change password functionality, and whatnot here. And we are logged in as admin, correct? And this is where you can see what user you're logged in as. Here, if you see, you're logged in as admin. So this is it for your for this tutorial. I would love to, I would love some feedback from you. Please give us your valuable feedback in the comments section and do let us know if you like the tutorial. Thank you.